Windows Password Recovery. Assuming you've burnt the CD, put it in and the CD is first to boot, simply press enter. Okay, the first thing we're going to need to do is select our Windows volume. It's the second one listed on the list there, so I'm going to type in 2 and press Enter. It will detect the Windows volume, just make sure the path is correct, and simply press Enter. We're going to need to do a password reset, which is option 1. So just press 1 and Enter. OK, we can, again we're going to want option 1 which is edit user data and passwords. So again 1 and enter. OK, the administrator is selected by default. So at this point, because I'm working with the administrator, I just need to press enter. OK, I'm going to search option 1 which is clear or blank the user password. Option 2 tends to break things horrifically. So if you do 1 we can always change it afterwards, which I will do. And at this point we've already done it so I'm going to type in an exclamation mark to quit out which is the first option. Now I'm going to press Q to quit this menu and I'm going to commit the changes that I've made by pressing Y and enter. Notice the default is N so you'll need to press Y and enter. Okay we don't want to rerun the whole process again so we're simply going to press N and enter. Now I'm going to reboot the machine in question and hopefully because I've blanked the password it should log straight on. It has. Now to change that password I'm going to right click the computer, select manage. Local users and groups, users, right click the administrator account set password, proceed and type in what I want the administrator password to be and confirm. Click OK. Password has been set. OK. Close that down and now just to make sure I'm going to log off the machine in question and hopefully we should be able to log back on with the password that we've just set. Okay, this time it should prompt me for a password, and it does. Type in the new password. And there you are, log back in as the administrator.